Good morning, students, and welcome to class. Today, we'll be learning how to write informal letters. What is an informal letter? An informal letter is a letter you write to people you know. For example, your parents, mom and dad, your uncles, aunts, friends, brothers, and sisters. When writing an informal letter, it is obvious you're writing it to someone you know. Unlike a formal letter, which is official and could go to someone you don't know. In today's lesson, we'll be learning the format of writing an informal letter. The first thing you do when you write an informal letter is to state your address. Since you are the writer, you have to state your address. So your mom, your dad, your brothers, your uncle, or your aunt would know where you are writing from. The next thing you write is the date, so they'll know when the letter was written. For example, today is the 1st of September, so you kindly put after your address the date of today, which is 1st September 2014. Now that you've written your address and your date, the next thing you would do is to greet. And how do you greet in an informal letter? You say, dear mom, my dear dad, dear brother, dear sister, and in letter writing, it's called the salutation. So the third thing you do is your salutation. Dear mom, for example, if you're writing to your mom, and always remember to put the comma after the salutation. Now, when you're writing an informal letter, remember, you have to write your address, you have to fix the date so the receiver would know when it was written, and then the salutation, which is dear mom, or dear dad, or dear brother, or dear sister, uncle, aunt, or dear friend. Now, when you've finished doing, following these procedures, the first, the second, and the third one, you'll now go, go straight to the body of the letter. And in the body of the letter, you have to break it down into paragraphs. So, for example, if you're writing mom and dad about how, where you would want to go for an excursion, maybe you're in the boarding house, you'll start with the first, greeting them in the first paragraph, and then in the second paragraph, you tell them what you want. You will explain where the excursion is taking place and why you think you would want to go there. And of course, you have to be kind enough to find out how they are doing and include the fee for the excursion and all the other requirements for the excursion. When you are done with the letter, you now have the final thing in a formal letter, which is what? The closing. And the closing would always be yours faithfully or your son or your daughter. So you have the closing here. The next thing you do is the closing of the letter. which is your son or your daughter if you're a girl. And then the last thing you do after you've written the closing is to write your name so they can be sure it's you. So you'll have your name, John or Jane if you're a girl. Let's go through it again. The first thing you do in writing an informal letter is you put the address of the writer, which is you, so they'll know where you're writing from. Then you put the date, so they'll know when the letter was written. The next thing is the salutation. Dear mom, dear dad, dear friend, dear brother, dear uncle, or dear aunt. And then the body of the letter, which I have told you, must be broken into paragraphs stating what you want. Then you have the closing of the letter, which will be your son or your daughter. 
And then don't forget to write your name, John or Jane, or whatever beautiful name you bear. So in today's lesson, you're going to have your worksheet where you're going to write a letter to mom or dad or any of your brothers, an informal letter to someone you know, telling him or her how you've spent your beautiful long vacation. I hope you've enjoyed the class and I hope to see you in my les next lesson. Good morning again.